The Pokemon Sun and Moon demo has been released worldwide, allowing everyone to finally get a taste of what the game will be like. But at the end of the demo, a trailer plays that shows off new footage of characters and locations. So you know what that means. It's time to bring out the old analysis machine to see what secrets and hidden details it can find. And trust us, for as short as the trailer is, there's a lot of good stuff here. Let's get to it. The first new location featured is actually one we've seen before, the Festival Plaza. But it's different from what we've seen already. Now, instead of a Driftblim stall, there's one that's shaped like a Gengar's head. This seems to indicate that your Festival Plaza is customizable and you can choose which stalls go where. Nothing too major, but interesting nonetheless. The same goes for the female trainer at the bottom right who's wearing a Team Skull tank top. This finally confirms that we can dress as Team Skull in the game, something we suspected after seeing another NPC in the Festival Plaza wearing one. Now the question is, will the full outfit be available? The next place we see is when the trainer is riding Tauros on Route 7. Ahead we can see that the tunnel has been blocked off, but there's still a path that leads to the left. The thing is, we know where this is located. It's on the eastern edge of Akala Island, the road that leads to the volcano. We can even see steam rising from the nearby mountainside. We've suspected it for a while, but having Route 7 on this island confirms that it's the second one players will be visiting. But we actually see another new place on Akala Island. It turns out that the group of buildings south of the farm is a small town. They're modeled after the American Old West, and in the street we see a mill tank and a snubble. The nearby milk can on the left side likely indicates that this general area is where Moo Moo Milk will be able to be purchased. There doesn't seem to be anyone of note here though, as the man next to the milk tank seems to be a normal NPC. The next shot takes us to the southwest Pony Island near the docks. We noted before how there were boats shaped like different Pokemon all around, but now we get a better look at the Waylord boat. It turns out that it's a floating restaurant thanks to the sign showing a fork and knife on a plate. Maybe we can get some good seafood here? It would be nice. Finally, we have a short scene with Kukui. While the professor doesn't do anything, we think this takes place in the park on the southwest island of Ula Ula. There's nothing really to note about it except for the Pokemon statue in the background. It seems to be depicting a Pokemon, though we're not sure which one. Now, new places to visit are always fun, but what about the people we'll meet? Well, it turns out there's a lot of new characters. The first is this young girl with a Mudsdale. She has long hair, a purple bonnet, and wears what could be traditional archaeologist clothes along with a purple jug at her side. All of this seems to indicate that she'll specialize in ground-type Pokemon. But is she a trial captain? Well, we don't think so. There's no sign of the trial captain symbol that we've seen on all of the others up until this point. Instead, we think she's the Kahuna of Ula Ula Island. The scene seems to take place at the port city based on the nearby mountain and the golden fences. However, she's not wearing a Z-ring like Hala and Olivia. Well, Olivia isn't wearing hers when she greets you as you arrive on Akala Island, so they may not wear them until it's time to battle. Also, take note that Olivia greets you when you get off the boat, which is what this girl seems to do as well. So, based on all of this, we believe that she's the Kahuna of the Southeast Island. Then there's this man that's standing on top of the Waylord boat. While we can see a Pokeball at his belt, there's again no sign of a Trial Captain symbol. And considering this takes place at the docks on Pony Island, he might be the final Kahuna. It's difficult to get a read on what he might be like though. All we see him wearing is a black coat with blue flourishes, black shorts, and a black shirt. Next to him is a Pelipper which could either mean that he specializes in flying or water types. If it is water, then this destroys our theory that there are 14 trial captains and 4 kahunas which each specialize in a different type. But it could be flying as well, we just don't know for sure. However, we are confident that he's the kahuna of the southwest island. The next character shown is this young girl who is definitely a trial captain. We can easily see her using the symbol as a hair clip. Otherwise, her dress is all patchwork and she wears a gold armband. But where is this taking place? It's inside of a cave as we can see purple crystals lining the walls, but unfortunately there's no cave that sticks out like that on the map. 
However, with the single large mountain on Ula Ula Island and the canyons of Pony Island, we believe she's based on one of those. We just can't pin down anything more than that, though all of this seems to point to her specializing in ghost-type Pokemon. Now that's all of the characters shown in this trailer, but someone new is referenced in the demo itself. If you talk to the ace trainer blocking the closed door, she'll describe a girl named Kahili. Apparently, she's a golfing genius and strong in battle, but she's not around right now because she's trying to conquer the world, as you do. Those lofty ambitions aside, this description tells us exactly where she's based. We've pointed out this golf course many times on Akala Island, and now we know it'll likely be the site of Kahili's trial. But there's much more that can be learned about her. For one, Kahili is actually a golf course that can be found on Maui, which is the same island that Akala Island is based on. Secondly, Kahili's are actually Hawaiian symbols of chiefs, noble houses, and royalty. This could indicate that the character Kahili is a descendant of the Alolan royal family that's mentioned in Alola Meow's profile on the Pokemon website. Suddenly, the odd comment that she's off conquering the world makes a little more sense. But this possible connection to Meowth's Alolan form could indicate that she specializes in dark types as a trial captain. We obviously don't know for sure, but a lot of details fall into place. That brings the total number of trial captains to seven. We have Lana, Mallow, Ilima, Sophocles, Kieve, and now Kahili and the girl in the purple dress. While we can't be sure, of course, it seems that there will be more than eight trial captains in the game. Could our prediction of 14 total be right? Okay, we're almost done here, but there's still a few things worth pointing out. For one, the trailer begins with a CG movie featuring the three starters and the male trainer. Could this be a clip from the new opening? We doubt it was created just for this demo trailer. Next, there's a moment where we see Lily looking quite shocked, but we don't know why. It's night out, but that doesn't indicate anything other than this might take place in Moon. What is she seeing right now? Finally, we see a scene of dark clouds forming over Aether Paradise, likely because of UBO-1's arrival. It seems these new creatures have an effect on the weather, always turning the sky black. We saw this before when UBO-2 Beauty and Absorption were revealed. The mystery behind them just keeps deepening. But that's everything we could find in the new demo trailer for Pokemon Sun and Moon. There's only a month left until it's released, and even more information is coming on October 27th. So we'll be there to cover it all as it's revealed. Until then, let us know if we missed anything in the comments. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe to Game Explained for more on Pokemon and other things gaming.